A string of shootings over the last week in Durham has community members calling for change. Just last night, officers responded to a shooting in the 1600 block of Liberty Street. One person was injured. He is expected to be okay, but residents of Durham say shootings like this are far too common and something needs to be done. WNCN Shamiriel Ratliff is live in Durham with more on the story. Shamiriel? Good evening, Maggie. Yes, community activists say curbing crime starts with coming together in unity. And if common ground can be found, change will come. It just won't happen overnight. We got to stop this, man. I mean, it's something that's wrong. The recent shootings and crime in Durham are enough to make Rodney Williams emotional. We need this killing to stop now. We need to stop it. I don't want to see another child get hurt again. I'm tired of waking up seeing kids getting hurt. Williams is the CEO of Walk for Life. He says the organization speaks for the community and tries to help city officials improve the area. An improvement, he says, is much needed. Right now that our young black men have to see that it's more to it than to just the streets. It's more to it than just selling drugs. It's, it's, it's time for a change. Over the last 10 days, at least 15 people have been shot in the area. During a Citizens Police Academy meeting earlier this week, Chief Jose Lopez says the senseless violence makes him angry. A lot of that is outside of the law enforcement uh, purview and this community needs to step up and take up that challenge. William says he and his team accept the challenge, but they can't do it alone. If we keep putting a Band-Aid on it, it's not going to get any better. We all got to come together. I'm talking about my white brothers and sisters. I'm talking about my black sisters, my black brothers. We all got to come together. We keep thinking about this color thing, and it's not about color when, you, when you're hurting somebody. William says the churches need to be more involved, and more positive focus needs to be on the children to lead them down the right path. The community solve this problem. The city officials can't solve this problem. This is our town. This is a community town, and we're going to keep it that way. Now, William plans to have a meeting of the minds with city leaders and community members on Tuesday. He says the invitation is open to the public. He expects Mayor Bell to attend. And for more information on this meeting, just visit our website, WNCN.com. Live in Durham, Shamiriel Ratliff, WNCN News.